when my doctor in the community first said to me, I'm, you're going to need a, a liver transplant, I thought, what are you talking about? You're not talking to me. I'm James Spivey, and I'm the medical director of the liver transplant program at the Emory Transplant Center. We have this wonderful multidisciplinary collaboration between a number of physicians from different departments, including our radiology group, our laboratory group, the pathologist, all of these services essentially under one roof. I felt like I was in good hands, that I had walked into a place that understood what I was facing and that they were going to take care of me. There are a number of exciting developments in liver transplantation, not the least of which is development of new immunosuppressing agents. Transplantation today depends upon drugs that suppress the immune system and, and prevent rejection. The problem with the uh, drugs that we commonly use today is that not only do they suppress the immune system, the desired effect, but they also have side effects. They can cause high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, kidney toxicity, and diabetes. So for the past 15 years, our group has worked on developing new drugs that would have those desirable effects, preventing rejection, but would avoid those toxicities and side effects. The burden on the patient is just potentially greatly reduced. My surgeon told me that the new liver started working, started producing bile before he was finished sewing it in. The aching and the itching and all of that, it was gone immediately. I woke up from surgery feeling better than I could remember feeling in a long time. Emory is a leader in basic research and transplantation. Efficient, thorough, uh, compassionate care is what we're trying to deliver.